welcome to Lakalama YouTube channel. I'm Natasha and I will be your host today. I live in Manitoba, Canada, and I'm so happy that you came to visit me today. Today is Sunday uh, and it's a beautiful, beautiful morning. We have sun shining up and temperature is about minus two. So it's just perfect weather to go on a walks or outside because uh, before that few days were so gloomy it was still warm but it was kind of uh, clouds were covering sun and it wasn't as bright as today so that makes me kind of very happy and today we are in a Christmas season uh, we are so close <laughs> to Christmas and today is a second advent uh, weekend and um, uh, it just uh, so much Christmas in the air and this year I decided to do some Christmas knitting um, and also I got advent calendar but it's not exactly uh, knitting related but it's still I can open present every day and my friend um, generously made it for me and it makes me very happy actually it's my first advent calendar in my life so i'm so excited that i can open it every day and get different surprises that i don't expect or don't know what will be in the next package <clears throat> uh, this year i decided to knit christmas socks and you can see them over here So I'm using this gorgeous yarn that I purchased, um, I believe this summer, um, at the local yarn shop, uh, which is in Winnipeg, Manitoba. It's called Woolsley Wool uh, Store. And this yarn is Cascade Yarn Heritage Prince. It's 75% superwash merino wool, 25% nylon. And uh, yeah, and colorway is like you can see here stripes on the packaging so i decided to take one ball and unwind it and um, in two balls because uh, i realized that i won't have identical socks because print uh, re um, print repeat is quite long and it would be very hard for me to find the <laughs> same um, same edge to start knitting both socks with same print so i decided um, to unwind it in two balls and take it uh, from middle of the ball so i wind one ball and then i cut the yarn and then kept winding a second ball from same same side of a ball and i was hoping to have kind of that print would go at least same direction so <laughs> look what i got here I started to knit uh, on magic loop and started both socks toe up and I did uh, Julie's magical cast on and then I was uh, then I moved two socks to separate little needles so I would have like two separate projects that I can take with me one of them or you know put in different rooms of my house and where I am and I see it and I can knit it and also I decided that I will not knit one stripe a day because I still, I want to knit them quick and I want to still wear them around Christmas. And look what happened. Like I know that the stripes would be different, but like different, uh, I would start in different place, but still blue and dark green, they go for some reason in opposite directions. So even though I tried to make my socks um, stripe going one way same way but for some reason they're opposite so but it doesn't matter they're very nice bright <laughs> Christmassy socks and I really love them how they're turning out I'm just knitting uh, just plain vanilla socks and I'll have um, German short row heel and then I will knit up all yarn and make the socks as tall as yarn would allow me and uh, on a ribbing uh, like on a leg i want to do ribbing three by one and i cast on here like 60 or 56 stitches that's what usually i do for my socks because i have very narrow foot feet yeah that's my christmas socks 
which I enjoy very much and I actually really really enjoy this yarn because um, yarn is um, very nice soft and very pleasant to touch and feels like uh, the yarn that indie dyers use uh, for their sock yarn because it's like a little bit better quality I would say than just a regular yarn but I really like this cascade yarn and talking about cascade I didn't tell you what I'm wearing today <laughs> I'm wearing a cardigan that I knitted a long time ago. I had just four balls of a cascade uh, merino, uh, so extra fine merino wool. And I decided to knit myself a very short cardigan. It just goes up to my waist and has wide open neckline. Uh, I knitted this short cardigan because I wanted to wear it like in summer. And it's like uh, a little bit chilly, but not chilly enough to wear like full cardigan. But this uh, basically sleeves and a little bit for a body uh, compared to me almost like having shawl to cover yourself up. But um, last while I didn't wear it for a while and I'm thinking to unravel it and knit my son a cardigan. But <laughs> we'll see uh, now I put it on like for video I thought I would put it on last time and then I would un unravel it but um, it looks quite nice so we'll see okay next uh, my next uh, Christmas project is out of this beautiful yarn from, no from Nomer Nomad it's 100% super wash wool on website it says 100% super wash merino wool and here it just says wool so but it really feels like merino wool it doesn't feel like um like other wools and it's in 100 grams 200 meters it's for ply it's a really nice squishy yarn i like it very much and i'm holding it <coughs> together with <laughs> sorry it doesn't look very uh, with this yarn, it's a soft donning outfit from Warm Wool Gallery. I'll leave a uh, link to shop to the shop behind my under my video. Uh, so it's 100% merino wool, pure merino wool, and it's in 100 grams, uh, 380 meters. And this yarn is really blooming really nicely after washing. And I decided to knit honeycomb iron sweater uh, which I just finished for myself in gray uh, if you saw my previous video I was wearing it and I started to knit right away another one for my oldest daughter and I'm yeah I'm I'm using bigger needles so it's six millimeter needles and also I'm holding yarn double so I'm just hoping <laughs> as it using a bigger needles and uh, it will help me to finish this sweater by Christmas, but we shall, we will see. Um, I think I'll need to knit four repeats, four uh, rhombus like that, and then I will be probably under arms. And she is a size extra small, so it gives me hope. And then I will see uh, because a pattern calls uh, uh, honeycomb iron by yarn inspirations it uh, pattern tells you to knit uh, the sweater separate details front back and then sleeves and then you shape rug line raglan lines and then you do neck band and then you sew whole sweater together that's what i did with mine but in the end i realized that it was uh, so much work and and i realized that this seamless knitting makes our lives so much easier so i decided that if i will need more of those sweaters i'll knit it like in one piece so i'll knit it a uh, body and then sleeves but what i'm thinking now i realize in the teenagers they don't really uh, wear clothes now with raglans more it's a job shoulder so i'm thinking maybe i'll just knit it as a square and, uh, and i will knit as a job shoulder and i will maybe do shaping a bit for shoulders and then maybe i will or knit sleeves separately and then sew them in or i will pick up stitches and knit it top down um, 
just use a pattern uh, what should be and then do neck band so that's my thoughts and i still have time to decide what i will do uh, with shaping here up so but i'm i'm thinking more and more that it would be a, a drop shoulder because i think she would wear it more and another project that i'm working on <laughs> this is christmas season it's um sweater out of this yarn but I'm showing you a white ball, but I'm working in like exactly same yarn. It's a mink fur yarn on, it's kind of mink fur on cotton blend yarn. And it has, a, <clears throat> it has another helping thread. It's basically polyamide with elastan. And then you add this thread to to the main yarn and it creates a really beautiful nice fabric so and i'm knitting top down as you can see here i'm just making up this pattern as i go and i have same beautiful ribbing on the sleeves as i have on the neck band and i did two sleeves already and a neckband and now i'm working on a body so i'll just knit down and if you remember i knitted a green one exactly in the same yarn uh, that one is kind of cropped it's just a little bit below my waist i knitted a gray one that one is a little bit below my hips and this one will be in between <laughs> so how and i really really love this color it's very very beautiful so it's very pleasant to work on and i'm super excited that i can knit it so that's all about my knitting also i need like some hats here and there most of them out of worsted weight also, I want to take out my, <clears throat> this Christmas, want to take out my Adi knitting machine, uh, just a loom band kind of type machine. And maybe I want to try to knit a few hats on it or something else. I don't know, just I didn't knit with it for, uh, for a while and I think it would be a good time to take it out. And also, I will be doing some cross stitches on a picture I showed you I think I got it in summer on sale but it's a really nice Christmas uh, picture and <laughs> I opened already a kit it has a picture and instructions and and threads and needle everything you need but I didn't start it yet because when I look at that big picture and lot of different colors of threads and so many like those dots and squares and rectangles <laughs> it freaks me out and i'm putting it back but today i'll go visit my friend and she does a lot of cross stitch so and embroidery different things so i'm just hoping that she can help me start cross stitching because i know how to do cross stitching but i'm afraid to start like where do you start like which side do you start from corner do you start in the middle how do you mark everything like you know it just <laughs> freaks me out so i'm really hoping to start it today at her place and i will uh, keep knitting and i'll try to do some special christmas edition a uh, few more videos this year and i'll really hope you will enjoy it and i will insert some in the beginning and some in the end of this video some just like you know just small pieces of our life uh, or the christmas decorations or something and i'll show you our christmas tree not a little one but a big one and uh, just um, to kind of create this christmas spirit for all of us so i hope you are knitting lots of presents too and you're enjoying your christmas season bye <laughs> Thank you.